Hi, and welcome to Safety at the Frontline. I'm Jaren from Frontline Data Solutions, here to get you up to speed on the latest safety news. The EPA has released part two of a final risk evaluation, which concludes that asbestos presents an unreasonable health risk to workers under certain conditions. Used in chloralkali production, consumer products, coatings and compounds, plastics, roofing products, and other applications, asbestos is among the first 10 chemicals under evaluation for potential health and environmental risks. The final scope of the evaluation includes the conditions of use, hazards, exposures, and the potentially exposed or susceptible subpopulations that EPA plans to consider in conducting the evaluation. The agency plans on finalizing the process by December 1st, 2024. On to the next news, an ice cream company has been linked to a deadly outbreak of Listeria monocytogenes infections. The CDC announced that Big Olaf's ice cream is the likely source of the 23-person outbreak that has caused one person to lose their life and a pregnant woman to lose her baby. 22 patients have been hospitalized across 10 states. The CDC, public health and regulatory officials in several states, along with the FDA, are investigating the outbreak. 17 people were interviewed and 14 of them report to eating ice cream. The company has not initiated a recall as the investigation is still ongoing. Last news of the week, OSHA is requesting public comment on a proposed rule that would revise the agency's standards on occupational exposure to lead in general industry and construction. Recent research shows that adverse health effects can occur in adults at lower blood lead levels than the level specified in OSHA's lead standards. OSHA asks the public to comment on blood lead level triggers for medical removal protection, medical surveillance provisions including triggers and frequency of blood lead monitoring, permissible exposure limits, and ancillary provisions for personal protective equipment, housekeeping, hygiene, and training. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast for more EHS updates. And in the meantime, stay safe and stay tuned for next week.